Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky for a rewards episode on rewards day. I know, I know. I spoil you guys sometimes. Um, yeah, so there's a background today which means I am going to be doing my live rewards for division rivals and foot champions and I'm very excited. I mean, team of the week is a little bit worse than we kind of expected. We hoped there was going to be like a centre-back Mendy, uh, a Messi that we could possibly get in red. <clears throat> It is what it is, right? Uh, so if you do enjoy today, do me the hugest of favours of smashing the thumbs up. I want to see 5k likes for Rewards on Rewards Day, alright? Smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here. Uh, we're on 501 and a half thousand subscribers right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is obviously the team that I had put together for you in yesterday's episode. Uh, I still haven't changed their positions around and stuff. I'll get there, um, but I don't have any of the position modifiers at the moment. Hoping to maybe pack some of them in today's video. Uh, if it happens, great. If not, we'll have the money to go out onto the market and pick those up. Uh, and I did have another idea for a potential uh, change to this squad, which I'll talk about after our rewards. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Uh, I've got all sorts to do. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is claim an objective card, which I've been working on in the in the background. Obviously, you saw some in yesterday's video, but I have now got the 87 rated uh, Kukureya, I think is how you pronounce his name. That's what people have been telling me anyway. Uh, but welcome to the club, 87 rated Kukureya. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, this looks like a really good card. So uh, I think this week he's not in my starting 11. Um, but what what could happen is I could bring him on at half time as one of those centre mids or something. I think that could be quite fun. Test him out, see how good he is in game. So, uh, yeah, we've got the, the biggest and best version of this future stars. Nice one. Um, so, I think the only other thing to do now is just start taking taking my rewards. Uh, Div Rivals, I think we got like rank three. Not going to lie, didn't play uh, some of my remaining games. So, instead of uh, four rare mega packs, we get two mega packs and, four, uh, and two rare mega packs. So... Sorry, it just is what it is, right? Uh, and then uh, foot champions, obviously we got gold, three OP. It's going to give us 30,000 coins, two red player picks. You know the drill by now. Do you know what? I've just ended up losing out on my uh, weekend league buffer because I've just claimed this and I haven't I haven't uh, accepted the weekend league yet. That's a shame. That's annoying. Uh, that's actually annoyed me quite a bit. Um, anyway, we move on. It, it doesn't matter. I, I don't tend to skip a weekend league anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but 30,000 coins, two mega packs, rare players pack. We haven't actually got gold three for a few weeks. We've actually gone a little bit higher than that. So let's see if it is gold three OP today. For the little extra slice of luck. Thumbs up, please. Come on. Who are we going to get in today's red player picks? Three, two, one, boom. The first player we're going to get, oh dear, that is uh, pretty tragic, isn't it? That, oh god, that's really not good, is it? Uh, so none of these players look like they're particularly usable. We're going to go ahead and take Merritt because he's 82 overall rated. Oh man, not what you wanted to start with. But hey, can only get better from here? I hope so, at least. Little Aubameyang or uh, Marcus Lorente is one that I'd really like to see. Just because he's super well-rounded. Uh, and in 3, 2, 1, boom. Are we going to get Marcus Lorente? No, we're going to get 284s though. And, uh, wow, Matt Derbyshire. How old is he now? Uh, but yeah, I don't know which one to take. Probably just going to take the Villa goalkeeper. Yeah, we'll take Martinez, right? Because Cuates in the in Liga Nos is going to be difficult to uh, to link and stuff. We'll just take ourselves. I mean, actually, I think I need a Prem goalkeeper and it doesn't have to be a strong link, I don't think. So maybe we could just use him this weekend, see how he gets on. So those are my red player picks. Two goalkeepers, an 82 and an 84. Not exactly what you uh, what you want to see, but hey, we'll uh, we'll take it. We'll move on and everything will be good after that you know we can pack our future stars right now uh so i've actually got 10 packs to open some of them are just the extras from like these 75 plus rated players we'll just get them done uh from the last couple of squads from uh kukurea uh, but we don't ever expect anything from these in fact i am just gonna go ahead and skip through them 81 oh okay uh, i like to guess i like to have a little guess but first, we'll see if we're going to get a board or a walkout, and then we'll guess the rating after that. 
So, uh, board, it's a blue board. I'm going to guess 80 rated overall, all right? Spanish right mid from Man City. Oh, is it 81? Or is it 80? Oh, it's 81. Damn it. I was so close. It's Ferran Torres. Uh, but yeah, okay, we'll take a little blue. It's not really a board, is it? But hey. Uh, so now, all right, we need to, do, need to go mega packs. Oh, no, we've got a rare gold pack. Oh, that was from an objective. I've got this objective pack that I wanted to get for you. Uh, and uh, and open. So, walk out. We're going to get a walk out. I think it's the team of the week, though. Who's it going to be? Argentine. Well, it's not Messi, is it? It's going to be the Villa goalkeeper, uh, who we literally just got in red. But, hey, it's an 84 rated in form. I think... Do I need any of them for El Sharawi? I don't think I do. Uh, but still, a high rated inform is going to be very, very useful. Uh, I don't think that's tradable, though. Uh, it isn't, so we can definitely use that in an SBC going forwards. I like it. Well, that's, I mean, yeah, great start in my opinion. We'll take a little inform. So we're going to go megas, four megas, then two rare megas, then the 50k pack, all right? So I can't remember if these mega packs right here are going to be the tradable ones. Two of them are tradable, two of them aren't. I'm guessing this one's untradable. Boards though, all right. Uh, inform again, I think. English inform. Striker in form, that's going to be Matt Derbyshire, isn't it? Uh, 75 rated in form is not obviously what you want to see. He's not going to be particularly useful because normally you need quite a high rating requirement. So he'd bring that down. But we do get an 84 rated Berkey in there. And do we get any position modifiers that I need? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we get an engine and a shadow though. That's pretty useful, I guess. I'll just double check if you're a tradable. No, you're not. So, oh wait, what was Nutmegs? Oh, I could change my club nickname for this weekend if you want, guys. Uh, so, mega back number two then. I mean, we haven't stopped getting informs yet. This is pretty cool. Uh, if we could just get an inform Marcus Lorente. Walkout. Regular walkout this time. What are we going to get? Italian striker Immobile. I think it is. It's going to be an 87. 87 Immobile. Good start to the packs this week. Oh, mate, do you know what? This is annoying me because this is the least I've played this week. And then the last few weeks, I've gone all 30 games. I've gone Div 1, Rank 1. Uh, and, and the packs have been, like, worse in comparison. This is great, obviously, to get a, a new walkout, a good good player for us if we're going to try and do this El Shirawi SPC, which is obviously something I want to talk to you guys about in just a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, damn, all right. Mega packs being a little bit OP. So these mega packs are going to be tradable. If we get anything, we could sell it if we needed to. No boards, no walkouts. I mean, when it when it gets to the ones where you could actually sell, that's when they don't let you have anything. Okay, I mean, little Iniesta. Okay, I think that's a duplicate as well. Uh, but as much as we can get here to fill our club up so we can do like marquee matchups and maybe the UEFA marquee matchups which came out uh, a couple days ago, yesterday, whatever it was, um, it is is going to be good. Oh, I bet a France background TIFO sells, you know. Uh, oh, it actually doesn't. Well, wow, okay. 3,000 coins. We'll take that. And we'll stick Iniesta up on the transfer list just in case he sells. And then the final mega pack then. <clears throat> Think walkout thoughts. Think future stars thoughts. Ah, it's just going to be boards again. Can we get an 85, though? That would be great. Portuguese, left mid. That's an 83, I think. Rafa, is it? Yep. You know when you play this game too much, when you can just... When you can properly guess who that player is going to be. Um, I'm sure a lot of you can also do that, just because we all play this game non-stop. Um, all right, so... Let's get rid of all of this. Don't need it. Don't need it. CDM to CM. No, I haven't got anyone in that. Ooh, I'm going to use this kit, you know. Going to use the Brazil away kit this weekend, I think, because it looks quite nice. Uh, all right. So now we're on to three of the biggest packs that we've got. Let's do rare megas first. I know technically they're worth a little bit more, but they are normally fairly trash for me, in all honesty. Walk out. Regular walkout. It's just trying to... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's only Swiss. It's trying to contra make me contradict myself, isn't it? And now this is a good pack because it's a walkout. All right, cool. We'll take a little summer. 86 overall. It's going to be, again, useful for an SBC. Any other walkouts in there? No, but we'll take an 84 in that as well. Decent. And then Man City player. 
I don't know, like, what was it you needed? I can't remember. Was it a Juve player? Like a Paimonte Calcio? CF to Cam, I think I need that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a Juve player that you need. Oh, I'm not going to swap him because I've already put the Premier League on him, so I'm just going to discard, you know. Uh, yeah, so I think it's a Juve player that you need for the UEFA marquee matchup. So if I haven't got one of them, we're going to have to go and buy them, and I'm guessing they're probably fairly expensive. So hopefully we can pack one in the next couple of packs. Uh, no boards, no walkouts, but it is Libertadores, so there could still be a little board player in here. We get Rojo, who used to play for Manchester United, of course. Uh, and there's three boards in there. All right, 383s, but still, nonetheless, I'll take it. Um, and then any other good stuff. Hunter Shadow Shadow Glove. Imagine if that was last year. You would be buzzing. Uh, Klosterman. Man, I've kept regular Klosterman in my club this whole year. Uh, he's uh, 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 untradeable, so not going to work for me. I can discard that guy. And I'm just going to discard the whole bunch. All right, so moving on to the final pack then. This is going to be... Oh, wait, a <laughs> gold pack. I'll just go ahead and skip this one. And I'm going to guess the rating is going to be 78. Oh, it's a non-rare. 78. Oh, 77. Damn it. I was so close. CDM to CM. Again, I don't need that one. I don't think we've had any other position modifiers that we need, which means I am going to probably go and spend like 20k uh, to get them all changed and stuff. But rare players pack. If you haven't done so already, hit me with a thumbs up so I can get a little extra slice of luck. Can we get anything? No, man. No, not, <laughs> not even Libertadores to try and hide a board. We're going to get ourselves an 82 Haustenberg from our tradable 50k pack. I mean, <clears throat> we've had our proper two walkouts within the pack opening anyway, so it's a, it's a success in my eyes, uh, and I can just go ahead and forget about that one. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, so, what I think we'll do tomorrow is I don't actually think we're going to be lining up in the 4 triple two. I've had this idea where I would quite like El Shirawi, obviously, so I think the way to line that up is to go fairly similar to what we're at right now. But I think you start with a 4-4-2. And it's going to drop Rooney down to 7 chem. But I think he'll be just fine on that. I mean, it is what it is. I think he'll be okay. Um, because I've played him on 5 chem and I think he's brilliant. So uh, I'm going to do that. And then <clears throat> if we were to take out Duncan from here, what we would do is go for L... Sharawi, because he looks a very, very good player, I'm not going to lie. And we could just stick him in here and he'll be fine. He'll be on full chem. Everybody else will be on full chem apart from Reese James and Rooney. So, uh, and, and I'm used to playing with a couple of players, maybe even more than a couple of players on seven or eight chem. Uh, so that would work for me. I don't think there's another way to... Because uh, we just don't have a right mid in this squad at all, really, do we? So that's going to be the only... Uh, sticking point. Someone's going to have to be on 7 chem there. We could probably do it where we start in the 4 triple 2 and we put El Shirawi LF at striker and he would be on 7 chem. Um, but in all honesty, I think he probably needs the stats a little bit more than what Rooney does. Rooney's just so cracked anyway. Uh, I think, <clears throat> I was thinking, right, we could go like this. And I'll change all of this stuff in tomorrow's episode. I was thinking about maybe playing this formation, you know, the 4-3-2-1. Uh, and going for uh, da, 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 Ronaldo up front, almost playing it like that, you know, maybe just like that. Um, but yeah, I thought that this looked like quite a good idea. Uh, it's it's an interesting formation to me. Three bank across the midfield could be pretty OP. Um, and then when it comes to the attack, just having these guys like a little bit more close to each other is going to feel pretty good, I think, for the little one-twos and the through balls and stuff. But then I think I can also probably push out wide with them or have, like, Rooney overlapping or something. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to try something like this uh, as, like, a, a tester. Uh, and we might test it out in tomorrow's video for you because I do need to, obviously, still make that. So, I might head on into Rivals for the first time this week and, uh, and test this out if we can complete El Shirawi. But uh, I'm pretty sure we probably can complete him now. I think he's about 230, 250k, something like that. Uh, and we've got, what have we got? 150. Plus, we've got a couple walkouts. If I go into my starting 11, I can also switch uh, 
my goalkeeper from from the OP Pope to the Red Martinez, which just gives like a full special team. So I, I would do that. Uh, I'll go. I'll go and stick a, a glove on him, um, just because that's the one that I always use. I think. Yeah, that that will do. Uh, and uh, we, we'll probably go with this. Uh, for the for the weekend something like this anyway, but I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure yet I might work it into a way where I can just use four one two one two Because in all honesty if it was four one two one two Let me just go back to that If it was four one two one two you could literally do this Play Curtis Jones as the proper CDM just because he has got those stats and I could whack a shadow on him And he could be a really good CDM uh, and then after the first half You know you take off uh, you take off Sador for, I don't know, Acuna. Uh, yeah, Acuna could work. And then that's what you, maybe you switch though. Not those two. You don't want to be switching those two around. Maybe you switch Rooney and, uh, and Acuna around or something like that. And he stays back a little bit more. Or he plays CDM and, and you do that. Um, so there's there's options there. I, I, I'm thinking of maybe going down this sort of route. Have the 4-3-2-1. Have the 4-1-2-1-2 as like backups. Uh, and uh, testing out what El Shirawi's like in game. Because he does look kind of nuts. Like it makes that Ribery SBC look such a rip off. Um, because he's like a quarter of the price. And the stats are arguably very, very similar. Um so yeah, guys, that is, that's going to wrap things up for today's episode. Do me the hugest of favors of smashing the thumbs up. We've unlocked ourselves Kukurella, Kukurea, um, from Squad Battles. We've done our red picks. We've done our reward packs. Uh, and we've come away with a, a decent amount of fodder, actually, that we can definitely work with. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Subscribe as well to the channel if you're new around here. I thank you for that. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Um, have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I will catch you tomorrow when we'll work on this Elshar. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to switch the camera off, edit this video, get it uploaded for you. And I'm going to work on him throughout the afternoon. So uh, interested to see if we can get that done. Peace.